When I woke up the next day, the first thing I did after getting ready for the day was check for a no under the door. I don't know now, but the sound of a fire alarm stopped me from thinking too much about it. Instead, I pulled open the door and rushed out into the hall and made my way outside. From the looks of it, everyone else had had the same idea. Glancing around, I saw Mr. Bandages standing to the side, away from the pandemonium caused by the other guests rushing out onto the lawn. A few seconds later, I saw Mr. Wolf trying to get through the crowd, but failing. I kept looking around to try and locate the count, but to no avail. We will look for the count. I started to walk around while scanning the faces of everyone in the crowd. Maybe I missed him. He wouldn't still be in there after the fire alarm sounded, would he? Maybe he overslept? But who could sleep through a fire alarm? I was so deep in thought that I had no, my shoulder had me jumping in fright. I didn't mean to startle you. Where the hell were you? Looking for the rest of you. Well, Mr. Bandages was easy enough to find, but you were short enough to finding you in a crowd. I was looking for you. I guess we kept missing each other then. I guess so. Well, now that we have found each other, we should probably meet up with the others, even if I would rather have you to myself just a little longer. You're right, the other must be worried. Well, Mr. Wolf might be worried. I love how she completely ignores his flirt. It's so beautiful, like, he sends the short sentences to indicate that, hey girl, I like you, and she's like, I don't see it. I don't see it. She's, she's amazing with that. We made our way to where Mr. Wolf and Mr. Bandages were standing. Eric's got us all out here. The least he can do is tell us why. You notice it too, then? What are they, the two of you talking about? Isn't there a fire or something? If it was a real fire, the sprinkle system would have kicked in and the hell would also be out here attending to the quest or trying to control the situation. Eric doesn't skip on safety precautions. So this was planned. Seems like it. Wasn't that a bit much? Couldn't he have just used the PA system to tell us to assemble on the lawn? You'll find that our host has a flair for the dramatic even in the most inappropriate situations. Well, it does make life fun. Is that Mr. Valdemar up there on the roof? We all look to the roof to see someone in a phantom costume standing on the roof. There's that dramatic flare I was talking about. I thank you all for gathering out here this fine morning. I hope that you slept well. There is nothing quite like a fire scare to get the boot bumping, but rest assured that there was no fire. Today's task will require every member of each team to work together. I hope you will enjoy it. He dropped something and disappeared in a cloud of smoke. He's not even going to tell us what the task is. Wait for it. 
Suddenly, a multitude of waiters pushing carts of food spilled out of the mansion. One of them made a beeline for us. Your clue, Miss Archer? He handed me an envelope before removing the covering on the food. And your breakfast! The cow Mr. Rove and I all dug in with gusto. Could you at least let me read the clue first? Food now, clue later. He let out a frustrating noise before joining us in the worrying that the delicacies provided. Once I was satisfied, I opened the envelope to read our clue. It's only half a clue. How can you tell? It says right here that we need to find the other half. Damn arrogant his need for two clues. Is it really two clues if... Yes! Are you going to read it out or are we just going to stand here all day? Keep your bandages on! I was about to read it out. Find the troll of riddles. There you will negotiate. Let's see if you can pass this very special gate. Troll of riddles. Eric. I don't think that's the kind of troll it means. Gross. Bridge and treasure guarding troll then. Probably is this a Halloween event after all. Pity, I was hoping to get a chance to yell at him. So, um, an idea where the troll will be. If Eric wants to be a drama queen, which he always does, it would be at the bridge. There is a bridge in the South Gardens. South Gardens? Does he have North, East and West Gardens too? Then I guess that's our destination. I'm surprised you didn't know that. The South Gardens are far too showy for my tastes. Who needs a river, a hedge maze, a greenhouse, a gazebo, and a fountain in the same place? Eric, apparently. We followed the cow around the outside of the mansion until the bridge and the man in a troll costume came into view. If the fact that we're the only guests here is an indication, we're the only ones with this clue. Is that a good or bad thing? It's an Eric thing, he likes to make things complicated. Hot mortals, what business do you have here? So, this is your bridge? At least you know you're not compens. I would not deign to speak to a female. What the hey? That's just rude and sexist! Do any of you males have business with me? We. Oh no, you don't. Team meeting now. I grabbed him and pulled him out of her earshot of the troll. Looking back, I was glad to see that the others had followed up obediently. Obediently. He wants. Okay, let's just like. I want to remind myself of their skills because that's important in games. Yeah, I don't think you will be of any use here. Okay. Okay, okay. He won't speak to me, but we need to negotiate. That's what I was trying to. No, you were trying to usurp me. What? I can do both? Let me do it. I can charm the pants of a Wait, that probably isn't the best thing to say when we're discussing a troll. I could give it a shot, but... I can just let me do what I was about to. <clears throat> do we even know what we are negotiating for? Passage and the second clue are vaguer. 
I doubt that's all, those are things we need, so negotiating just for them and failing seems to harsh for one of Eric's games. True. Researcher, who would you rather have negotiated? Well, because the Khan has negotiating his skills, well... This option is obvious. What happened to voting? Why does she get to... She's the leader. This is a game decision. It's her choice. Besides, she wouldn't win a vote anyway. Yeah. It is listed as one of his skills after all. Yes, Emma, that's how we are thinking. Logical. It's it's no space on the fact that we hate Mr. Bandages because he's mean. It's not based on that at all. Of course. Your faith in me warms my heart. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have skill. Let's see the skills of yours in action. Don't be too envious of me. <laughs> the cow went to talk to the troll and returned a few minutes later, looking pleased. He let Miss Archer and Mr. Wolf through, give them the second clue and walkie talkies. So much for your skills. If you are the master negotiator you claim to be, you'll have gotten us all through. From what I found out from the troll, walkie talkies are much more useful in the next part of the task than the number of people you have. Fine, but why him? The troll thinks he's a kid and women and children rate low enough to the show that he counted them as one person. One person? The troll is a troll. At least it worked in our favor. True. Come on, Mr. Wolf, we have a task to complete. Okay. You have no idea how lucky you are, Mr. Wolf. You get to have a romantic time in the soft gardens with Miss Archer. Oh, he's just he is such a tease. And poor Mr. Wolf! <laughs> poor Mr. Wolf, all red and embarrassed. I... Uh, would I? Ignore him, just focus on the task you remember. You'll have to deal with me if you mess up. And Mr. Bandages screwed up everything. Uh, try not to. Was that really necessary, Mr. Wet Bandages? I'd rather have him worried than a blushing, stuttering mess that can't think straight. Well, we're going now. Remember, don't fail. Oh, shut up, Mr. Bandages.